What's up, Calc Gang? All right, today we're gonna to be uh, disproving an advertisement. So it says an advertisement claims that a centrifuge takes only 0.127 uh, meters of bench space, so that's its diameter, um, but it can produce a radial acceleration of 3,000 times that of gravity at 5,000 revolutions a minute. Calculate the required radius of a centrifuge, and is it accurate? Okay, how are we gonna do this? So what we're trying to find is the radius of this centrifuge. It gives us an acceleration and an angular velocity. So we're gonna need this formula here. So to find out this formula, uh, we remember that the angular or the centripetal acceleration is the velocity squared divided by radius. Uh, we know that velocity is equal to uh, angular velocity times radius. So if you expand that out, you get this thing that uh, angular acceler centripetal acceleration is the radius times angular velocity. So we're gonna be using that. So we have our angular, uh, or we have our centripetal acceleration. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so it's 3,000, 9.81, uh, that's our angular acceleration. And it gives us a W of 5,000 rev a minute. But we need to convert that because we need it in radians a second, because this is radians a second squared, and this is rev a minute. Okay, so when we look at a circle, uh, one full rotation is one rev, but then it's also two pi radians. So to convert that, we're gonna take 5,000 revolutions per minute, and then we're gonna multiply it by uh, one rev is equal to two pi radians. So the revolutions are gonna cancel out, but then we're gonna have to divide that minute by 60 seconds to cancel out the minutes. And then what we're gonna get here is a number. <laughs> this is going to be um, 523.6 radians per second. This is our other angular, this is our angular fix, uh, velocity. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so then we can take this formula. I'm gonna change our colors because I'm feeling cool today. We can divide this W squared, so it's gonna be radius, that's equal to uh, angular acceleration divided by w squared. So plug in our values, we get, what is this? Weird sound, okay. Um, 3,000 divided by 9.81. And then that divide that by, I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? Oh, of course it's squared. Okay, I'm not doing anything wrong. So then it's, um, Oh my God, you guys hear that sound? And we're gonna to try to continue to 3.6 squared. And if you calculate this out, you're gonna get the radius is 0.11 meters. Okay, so 0.11 meters, if you multiply that two, the diameter is gonna be 0.22 meters. But it said that um, it only takes up 0.127 meters of bench space. Uh, clearly it takes up that much bench space. So this claim is not, not reasonable. And there you go. That's how you solve this kind of problem. Uh, just got to do some rearranging and uh, yeah, figure it out. So yeah, good luck on your physics homework, guys. See you next time.